Anthony Schleicher was born in 1848 at Pilgersdorf, Hungary. He left Germany at the age of 19 out of Burman and arrived in Boston on June 8, 1867. Anthony married Rosalie, who was from Germany also. She came over to America when she was six years old. Anthony and Rosalie had Paul Schleicher, number one, my grandfather. He married Annie Bumgardner, and they had a son named Anthony. Annie died giving birth to Anthony. Paul then married Aunt Mary Poor. They lived in Oklahoma and began their family there. They had Anthony that drowned in a pond. Cora, Florine, Mary, Joseph, Olive, William, and my father, Leo. As told by Uncle Bill, my dad's brother, in 1910, Paul and Mary Schleicher lived near Rowe Avenue and Turkey Creek. As Paul was plowing the garden, his horse bolted off. He ran after him and caught up with him eating grass in front of the Shawnee Methodist mission that was for sale. Paul liked the looks of it and decided to buy it. They hauled their fruits and vegetables by horse and wagon to City Market at 3rd and Main downtown. The trip took a day and a half. Paul sold his homestead in Omega, Oklahoma and moved to be close to the family. The Shawnee Mission in Fairway, Kansas served as a manual training school from 1839 to 1854. The mission was also the supply point for the Santa Fe and the Oregon Trails and a Union camp during the Civil War with three of the oldest buildings in Kansas. The old mission consisted of three buildings. He sold the north building, which was the Indian school, to someone else. Residence house was the west building and was built in 1939 and was used for the school and a living quarters for the teachers. The north building served as a dormitory and a school for the Native American girls. The east building, which was the chapel, the classroom, and the boys slept in the attic. Proceeding to procure the mission from the state continued until 1928. Paul and Mary used the West Building as their residence. The adjacent property was a garage. The former school building became a filling station around 1927. The Indians first attempted to secure the land back in 1922. They claimed the land was taken from them, but the buildings was never theirs. Paul number one's brother, Lewis, came over together and Lewis went to North Kansas City up by the legends. Paul one moved to I-35 and row. On the back row is Leo Slyker, my dad, Olive Slyker, Charles Lecluse, Cora Slyker Lecluse, Mary Frances Slyker Hyder, Albert Hyder, Chuck Slyker, Bill Slyker, Mary Nunnick Slyker, Lauren Slyker, uh, Pachette Pastel, and Louis Pastel. In the middle row is Henrietta Pastel, Bob Lecluse, Julia Lecluse, Paul Slyker One, Mary Slyker Poor, Mary Kirk, and Chuck Lecluse. In the front row is Leonard Lecluse, Albert Pastel, Mary Frances Hyder, and Ed Lecluse. Leo was very small, the family moved from the mission farm to Merriam. Leo married my mother, Mary Magdalene Blake. She was born on May 2nd, 1909 in Kansas City. They purchased their home at 46th and Rainbow. She would walk down to the Westport Shopping Center to get her grocery. Mother Mary loved flowers and she had a beautiful collection of irises which she would trade to obtain new ones. Mary had always been a housewife until Leo died. She became a sales lady at Kmart on 63rd and I-35. She worked her way up to the manager at the hat department. Mary had heart failure at the age of 72 and passed away at the Shawnee Mission Medical Center in 1981. When she passed her house, was sold to the Woodside Health Club. Leo passed away in 1958. Be 
At Pittsburgh State, I met Geneva, and one of my football friends took me down to her house to meet her. And several nights later, and we ran into them at a bar, which was a dance hall. I danced with her several times. From that point on, we started dating. That was in 1957. I went to St. Agnes High School, and from 91, uh, 51 to 55, and played football, basketball, and baseball. On the football side, on the football side, uh, we had a winning team our senior year. I was the leading scorer for the whole city on points scored, and for that reason, from my records and playing at St. Agnes. And they offered me a scholarship uh, to play football. Uh, that's why I went down to Pittsburgh, was to play football. Um, Paul and Geneva got married on November 22, 1957, in Pittsburgh, Kansas. We had twins, Christy and Carrie, on September 29th. We then moved to Denver, where Kelly was born on April 23, 1962. We then moved to Tulsa, where the kids grew up. Grandma Geneva, mother, was Florine. Geneva grew up in Pittsburgh, Kansas, and went to school at Pitt State, where she met Paul II. Grandma Chetty passed away at the age of 76 of a stroke. Christy had Stephanie. Stacy, Sydney, and Sophie lives in Kansas City. Carrie had Todd, Patrick, Sean, and lives in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Kelly had Madison and Morgan and lives in Kansas City. Stephanie got married in 2009 to Ryan Stedman and had a one ten-year-old stepson, Dominic, and a year and a half year old. Dimitri. Stacy got married in 2010 to Mike Cyphers and had twin one-year-old girls. They live in San Diego. Sydney is a teacher in New Jersey and Sophie is in high school in Kansas City. Madison attends Pittsburgh State in the nursing program and Morgan is in high school in Kansas City. Todd, Patrick, and Sean currently live in Tulsa. Like her family history to be continued. 